Hello, my name is Rich Malava, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model a bottle cap. This is based on a method that I saw over at the Luxology website from a user that actually works in the art department at Coca-Cola, and this is the topology that they use. Start with a 66-sided polygon cylinder and delete the bottom face. Scale it down. Then select two faces and skip a face and repeat this pattern all the way around the cylinder. This is where pattern selection in Maya would be nice. Once you've done that, extrude all of the faces inward. Then scale them down in Y and down in X. Go to center selection mode and move all of those faces down. From the side, select all the bottom faces and then delete them. Then select, select the top face, scale it up. This is going to become the top of the bottle cap. Scale it in one more time. Select the outer edge, bevel it. Select the two edges and bevel them again. This forms a nice round top. Let's continue working on those fluted edges, or fluted faces. Select a set snapping tolerance to 100 and with the split polygon tool split the faces of all of the, uh, what will become the fluted section of the bottle cap. Snapping tolerance to 100 makes sure that the uh, splits occur right in the center of the faces. If you miss the center uh, of the edge, just hit the delete key to delete the uh, point and then try again. Okay. Now you have to, uh, now what we're going to do is go around and select each of those edges. Pattern selection in Moto allows you to do this very quickly. In Maya, you have to select each edge. So pattern selection is something that I'd like to see added in Maya at some point. Once you've selected all the edges, hold the control key down and moving the Y slider of the scale tool, you can scale all of those edges out in the XZ plane. This creates N-GONs. Uh, at the top of all of those fluted edges, but this is the topology that they use and it gives a nice look. I add an edge loop in the center of all of those fluted faces and then select all of the vertices at the bottom and once again holding the control key down scale out all of those vertices in the XZ plane just slightly. Now so that I can hold a tight edge at the bottom with uh, equal distance from edges selected in the uh, insert edge loop tool add an edge loop at the bottom and then we're going to use extrude and extrude uh, to add some thickness to the bottle cap three extrusions of about five thousandths of an inch would be good just checking to make sure all the edge loops are correct. Pressing 3 to smooth and we're almost done. I'll put a fong shader on it. And then going back to pressing the one key I'm going to hit poke face on that uh, big end gun at the center and then selecting every other edge once again pattern selection would be a handy thing here of course at 200 percent speed it goes very quickly 
and then delete all those edges to create four-sided faces in that center section. I'm going to leave the end gun in the inside face. You'll never see it. Hardening all the edges, pressing the one key. There's the wireframe unshaded for the cap. Pressing the three key, there it is smoothed. Take off the wireframe unshaded. And that's the way they make a bottle cap at uh, the art department at Coca-Cola.